Hey guys, and welcome back to Valhalla. Today I want to show you how to get your very first bear type armor set that's going to give you some really cool benefits. Look at these benefits right over here. So it increases your armor when surrounded by more than two enemies, which is when you really need it, as well as additional increase in melee damage. How fantastic is that? To get our very first armor piece, we're going to head to the bottom right of the map into a place called Scent next to Canterbury City or town or village, whatever that is. We're going to go left over here. When you do get to this village, it's located at this big yellow marker. There's also two keys in the area to collect for extra loot. But that's not necessarily important because you can literally just go up to the building up here, climb up the side of it and get onto the roof and then kind of just sneak into the kind of opening there that's that's right over there and climb into the building. All without a single person seeing you at all. It's actually quite easy to get this first piece. The next piece is located to the right of you in Canterbury Village or City or whatever you want to call it. It's important to note that you are most likely going to need an explosive arrow to actually get the loot here. It's on the top floor of this kind of church main building right in the center there. Obviously you just look for the gear icon that will appear in yellow on your compass and you should be good to go. So climb up onto the balcony and you literally have to go for the opposite side first like over here which is the left side of the balcony and then kind of just shoot the lock off of the door over there because we do need to get through that side. And you can just run across this rope or this wire or whatever this thing is across here. Open the door and head into the kind of area where you'll be finding uh, some rubble on the ground that you need to explode. Do make sure you actually have enough adrenaline, one of your slots filled up so that you are able to use your explosive shot on the floor. And then just pull out your explosive shot, your button, whichever one it is, it's the hand icon and basically blow it up and you'll see the chest is literally hidden right here. It kind of looks like there's nothing there, but it's literally right there. And that's your second piece done, which is probably the hardest to get without the explosive shot. The third armor piece is located here on the corner by these two yellow icons. Just head around the other side of this fortress. You don't actually have to go in it. You'll be going straight for the edge of this cliff here to kind of go down there. You can jump into the water, do whatever you want, just climb down. It's going to be very hard to do this without enemies seeing you though. Although you are able to sneak to the actual zone where you need to be, it is difficult because you're going to have to call some noise. And if you don't have the explosive arrow, there is a oil jar that you can collect at the bottom to throw on this section standing right over there. Unfortunately, I didn't have any adrenaline to use my explosive shot, so I decided I'm just going to have to kill some people. And since these enemies are way stronger than me, all I was basically doing is hitting them enough until I can get my adrenaline bar filled up so I can use an explosive shot without this guy killing me. And I'm just going to explode the ground over here behind him and then I'm going to climb down. And then you can just make your way through this wooden little door thing and collect your third piece of armor, the trousers, which are actually more like boots, to be honest. Now the fourth piece is on the other side of the map, so looking at your settlement over here, we're going to be heading over to this giant lake up here, and the place that we're going to is right over there. This will be by an enemy camp, and you will have to kill at least a few people to kind of get by. So try and do some stealth assassinations to get as much damage as you can. If you are struggling, or these players are a lot, or these enemies, not players, are a lot stronger than you. Like this guy just stabbed me four times and almost killed me. Just make sure you kind of get the jump on them first. And since this is the big cave at the bottom of the kind of cliff, you can literally go in here, move that big object, and climb through here, or like squeeze your way through. Why is she even trying? It's wide enough. And then you can collect your fourth armor piece, the helmet, which actually looks pretty damn cool, actually. The final armor piece is located north of your location, across here at this yellow dot over there. Now's a good time to grab your horse, make it follow a road, and press E, or whatever the button is on console, to make it go to your quest objective, because it is a long ride. Once you get to the location, you'll notice it is on the side of a cliff here, at the bottom of the cliff, you'll see this boat here, shoot the jar, it will explode the kind of the boat, as well as the, the door that's explodable. Make sure you don't die from the fire, make sure you keep rolling or using your dodge button so that you, you don't keep dying, it's actually your crouch button. Inside the cave is pretty straightforward, all you have to do is follow along the path, pull the big rock out of the way, go through the crack in the wall, and there is your fifth and final piece, the Brigandine, Brigandine, I don't know how to say that word at all, and that is your full set there with the bonuses. And once again, let's have a look at what it looks like. Now, since most of my skills really rely on boosting bear type gear, this is a set that I really needed early on because it really has that resilience to it. It definitely has a huge increase to melee damage. And quite frankly, it looks really freaking cool. I like it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to use it. It's awesome. And maybe I won't die as much anymore. I hope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.